Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish and in today's video I am uh, using uh, a portion of a 10 pound pork butt shoulder, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, in this video I am doing a Cuban mojo pork. Uh, it's going to be um, roasting um, slowly. Um, I am having to do a smidgen of a spin-off. We've been having intermittent rain showers all day along with thunderstorms. So it's been lovely. My plan was actually to be bringing out my pork roast. Um, and although look now the sun's going to be popping out even more jerk, um, bringing out and I'm, I was going to do a fast, a high heat sear on my pork. And then stick it in the Dutch oven, Dutch oven and letting it slow cook um, with some charcoal. Uh, that was going to be my plan, but with the weather being so unpredictable, although it's calling me a liar right now, um, I have chosen to um, do this in my oven, which is kind of disappointing. But, you know, that's okay because... You roll with the punches so that's going to be the plan um this is an easy recipe that you can definitely do ahead of time actually um, my hope is actually just to do another recipe related right along with this um with this one today so you might get a twofer with the same um the same cook but um so that's going to be my plan going to be doing a spin-off uh for a later video but um yeah you can do cook this ahead of time and take it with you on your camping trip eat it cold warm it up it's going to be delicious either way so um, let me show you my steps yesterday I had to do the marinade so here it is fresh mint leaves. I'm just going to finely chop them. All right, and this is cilantro. I'm just going to try to finely chop this up as well. If you have a food processor, you can totally use a food processor to do all of this for you. Um, I don't have one. Um, well, I guess I could use my blender, but um, it's just as easy to use a knife. I actually have a little bit, uh, I don't have enough cilantro or um, mint leaves. I was supposed to have a, a whole cup of cilantro and a quarter cup of mint leaves, but you know what? You, you get what you get sometimes. <laughs> Using what I got. That's all the chopping. All right, so it's time to mix up the marinade. So I've got about two teaspoons of um, uh, oregano. Just adding to a bag. I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of cumin as well. Two teaspoons. And I'm going to add my mint, cilantro, and orange zest. Let me make sure I get it all into the bag. There. Now I'm going to add my combination of orange juice and lime juice. If you can find sour oranges, you can use um, about a cup, a cup's worth of that instead. Um, we don't have sour oranges where I am at, but sour oranges works really well for this as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And then now I just wanna make sure this is very well mixed. 
this is where if you have a food processor, this would do the mixing for you. All right. So there's my marinade. Now here is my pork. Sam again cut that 10 pounds and he's divided it up into two, or we, we've used it um, for the other recipe, the Asian pork, or Asian shredded pork recipe. Now we're using it for um, Cuban maji, Mahijo um, pork. I'm gonna try to divide this up evenly in both bags. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. I'm gonna make sure all the green stuff gets in there too. Of course you wanna get all the air out the best you can. Make sure you seal up your Look at that. Very pretty. And now this is going to sit in the fridge overnight. Make it magic. All right, so here is the roasts. They have been marinating for over, I think, 24 hours now. And um, I'm going to be, I have them prepped on a lit, um, lipped pan with a, um, this is just a cookie sheet or cookie, um, um, oh, whatever they're called, <laughs> you know, where you put the cookies to cool, cooling rack. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then I have, um, the, the roast right on top. I'm going to be popping them into a 425 degree oven for 30 minutes and then we'll be turning that temperature down and letting it slow cook uh, for a little while. Um, so it's beautiful. The marinade's beautiful. It smells really good already. Um, this is going to be an awesome dinner. All right. So here it is. It's been 30 minutes at 425. I'm going to, I forgot to salt this earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some salt on here. And I'm going to be popping this back into the oven at uh, 375 for another an hour and 20 minutes. All right, so we just checked the temperature on the roasts, and this one here is already in over 160. So I'm gonna, I've taken it out. I'm gonna cover it with tin foil and let it rest. The other one still has at least uh, 12 more minutes cooking, and um, then I'll be taking that one out and letting that one rest as well. So that kind of means we can have dinner a little early because we already have one resting. All right, so let's get to trying. This turned out looking really, really good. So here's a piece of that pork, the main ingredient. You can actually see the cilantro and the mint right there. Mmm. That's good. It's got a good bark on it, so it's, I've got the crunchiness, but it's really tender. Here. All right, so see here is a bite. I'm passing it over to my <laughs> Sam, my main squeeze. There's a couple of pieces. I don't really taste the, the um, 
orange juice or the lime juice. No. But it tastes good. good. Mm -hmm. I teamed it up with um, just some rice. I was going to make cilantro lime rice, but I used all my cilantro yesterday. So, um, so I just some, did some plain white rice and I have some black beans and um, onions. So a very simple, easy meal. This was, it took a little bit longer. So if you want a quick weeknight meal, um, you know, this, I mean, it's going to take a couple hours, but it's an easy put it in the oven, kind of forget about it kind of thing. So it actually works pretty well. You can put it in, do whatever you need to do, come back to it, um, later. So all in all, I think, I think it turned out to be a hit. But anyway, um, so this is um, the part two, the video two, or video one of three um, that you'll be seeing. So you're going to be seeing uh, in the future another video related to this pork roast. So that's three recipes with one 10 pound roast. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to give me some likes, give me some comments. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next Saturday at 8 a.m., bye.